hair. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I got my hot cup of black coffee. How do you do? So we're hanging out in the van today. We got a little project. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's fun. It's simple. It's easy. And whew, it is badass. Let me show you what we got going. This here is a 2.5 on-demand water heater from Thermomate. And this bad boy packs a punch. When you're living in a van, you hike eight miles, you come down, you're sweaty, you're gross, you're dirty. There is nothing better than taking a warm, hot, refreshing shower. And we're going to show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. All you need is a hot cup of black coffee, a little plumber's tape, some adjustable wrenches, and the bad boy device by Thermomate. We're going to hook back in here, hook it up. Good. Stand by. See you soon. Okay. Step one, prepare your pressure release valve. The unit is shipped with a pressure release valve. I attached it with a barb fitting and a one inch hose and some plumber's tape. Um, if the unit gets too hot, pressure builds up too fast, this valve will release and the water will shoot out this valve out the bottom of my van rather than explode the unit, which is quite a good thing. So, voila. All we're gonna do, oh no. Oh, here we go. So, time to pause. So a smarter guy would probably install the pressure release valve first and then put the hose, but I use the vise in my garage to install the barb clamp. Yep. I don't want to mess up the unit, so this is the, it's good enough for me. Do, 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 oi. Make sure it's snug, but don't go too snug. You don't want to break the threads. There we go. Pressure unit valve is installed. Did I mention that this thing is extremely light? <sighs> okay, next step. Okay, next step is to prepare the water inlets. Red is hot, fire. Blue is cold, ice cold. So what we're gonna do is apply some plumbers tape, plumbers tape to prevent a little bit of leakage. Um, what I like to do is determine the, the thread pattern on the pipe. We're gonna want to go the plumbers tape with that thread pattern. If you do it the opposite direction, when you put the bar, when you put the fastener on, it will remove the plumbers tape. So I'm gonna go with the thread pattern. So when I screw that on. Psh, psh, that stays in place. Same with this one. Do to do 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 and you gotta make funny songs when you go do 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 anytime you do any work. There we go. Voila! The unit is ready and prepped to be installed. Next step is pretty easy. We're gonna hook up the water inlets. Cold, hot. Be right back. Now we're inside the van for final assembly. Hot, fresh cup of coffee. One thing I forgot to mention, the unit is shipped with this mounting bracket. You can put it on your basin, your cabinets, whatnot, and the unit will actually sit on top of this unit, onto this bracket. So if there's any catastrophe where water spills, the unit won't be sitting in a pool of water. So I already have that installed and I have this bracket installed too because I like to do huge jumps with my van. Seriously, I've taken this thing way more places than a normal person in a van will take it, but she's been holding up and this water heater's gone with me. So got the unit installed, it's not moving anywhere. Um, final assembly is to connect the hot water and the cold water inlets. Um, I started them by hand. You don't ever wanna just crank on them with the wrench because you do not wanna strip those threads. So I've got them started. And it's going to be a little bit of a wiki wiki woo 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 on the cold on the cold on the hot on the hot do 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 I'm sure you don't want to see me just spin this 25 times, so I'm just going to push pause right here, get those locked down. Cold hot pressure release valve sink. Haha, <laughs> be right back. Don't 
go too hard. Make sure they're nice and snug, but don't ever force anything. Never force anything. If it doesn't come easy, it's not worth it. Wait, that's not true. Things that come easy are often not worth it, but you don't want to force it. Work hard. Don't force it. There we go. Okay. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. There we go. Um, it also needs power. So I'll run these power lines a little bit better later. Um, but come on, where are you? So it's powered. Okay. Um, my dongle. Oh, I got to turn the power on the van. Okay. All plugged in. I think we're good. That's the pump. Okay. So what we're doing right now is we're priming the pump, taking water. Oh, I got a leak. <laughs> oh, look who showed up. He finally gonna do the work at the end. This is Nico Doug. Hey, so that's the funny thing about YouTube and Instagram is that no one ever makes mistakes, but I make them all the time. I forgot to hook up my shower unit because my cabinet's not installed. That's where my shower head is installed. So I just had two open lines running and open. So let me start this over. Okay, time for final test. Got the water lines hooked up. Um, we got power to the unit. I connected the shower head, so I'm not gonna leak water. So let's uh, turn the water pump on. Whoa. Okay. No obvious gushes. That's a good thing. I can feel the water going to the pump. Let's see if we get water to the sink now. Oh, that's cold. That's warm. Ah, oh. we're fixed. We're back in business. Now I got to put everything back together. We're good to go. Thank you.